Mountie is the one with big eyes. And her older brother always wears his hat. That's Smith O'Teal. He says he doesn't feel dressed without it. They're very poor, aren't they? The father abandoned them, except for rare visits. Ronnie O'Teal does the best she can, but she has so many children. I've got to find a way to get her to take these. Maybe we could take these baskets over together. I'd like to meet Mrs. O'Teal. You're only saying that to be polite. Now that I'm coming home, it doesn't matter anymore. I'm sorry you think I'm so heartless. I don't think you're heartless. Mom. I'm trying to understand, Christy, what hold this place has on you. What it is about these people. Won't you let me try? You are my child. Your dreams do matter to me. Well, it won't be like a tea party in Asheville. I didn't think it would be. My mother had never been anywhere like the O'Teal cabin. I wondered if she could take it. The stench was overwhelming, exactly like my first visit to the O'Teals. I thought my mother might faint, but she didn't. Oh, my. Teacher. Right, nice to see you. Excuse the mess. Uh, my boys brought back their share of Miss Henderson's hunt. Swanee, this is my mother, Julia Huddleston. Mama, this is Swanee O'Teal. I'm delighted to meet you. Appreciate you bringing them baskets, but we can't keep them. Please, they're for Thanksgiving from the mission to everyone in the cove. Miss Christie, we can't. This tea is delicious. Is it dandelion? It's elder blossom. It is good to drink, and, and it's good to wash in if you have a rash or the scrofula. Fascinating. Now, where would you find elder blossoms this time of year? In Carolina, elder blooms June or July. Well, they do here, too. I pick them then and dry them. I got bunches yonder hanging on the line. Come on, I'll show you. Here's calls, too, but now not near as good as dogwood bark does. Uh, this here's elder blossom, and this in here is hound's tongue. You certainly know your plants. Oh, my granny, she, she had something for a cure for every ailment. She had hound's tongue for the cough and salsify for bellyache and sassafras for the ague. You know, this kind of learning is precious. It works far more than beans and cornmeal, but I'd be so grateful if you'd trade us. Well, I could ask a hundred questions. Well, I reckon I could do that. I'd underestimated my mother. She soothed Swanee's pride as gently as Fairlight would have. Are you going away? Yes. I have to go home and help take care of my father. Are you gone forever? I don't know. I hope not. I love you, teacher. Ladies, a patient from Low Gap paid me in gingerbread. I couldn't possibly eat it all before it goes stale, so. So who wants some? Me, 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 me. Yeah. Want some? Here, you take that. You boys can sweat. I drew you this, Doc. It's the first thing I've seen after you fixed my eyes. Dr. McNeil saved Becky's sight. She had trachoma and he invented a new treatment. It's beautiful, Becky. I'll treasure it always. Dr. McNeil, I know I have no right to ask this, but I'd appreciate it if you would examine my husband and give us your opinion. I'll come by first thing tomorrow. Not exactly the heavyweight champion, am I? I've seen worse. 
I can't promise you'll be able to box 10 rounds of Jack Johnson. Although I do see room for progress here. I knew it. A stroke is like a storm passing through the brain. It wreaks havoc with one part, but the other parts could be retrained to take over. Exercises will help it along. Dr. Brandt never mentioned that. Well, there are those doctors of the old school who don't believe in physical therapy. They believe once the damage is done that it's irreparable. I, however, believe that the brain can be retaught to control the muscles so that the paralysis can be reversed. How? How long? It's hard to say. It'll not be easy. A lot depends on the strength of your will. But if it's anything like your daughter's, we should be seeing progress soon. My father could get better. Neil could help him. My prayers had been answered. But joy wasn't the only emotion I was feeling. Why do you look so sad? I have to go back to Asheville. My mother needs me. I know. Alice told me. You've done a lot of good here, Christy. I know we've had our differences from time to time, but I've got to give credit where it's due. I'm fine. All that matters now is getting my father better and making sure the people of the Cove have what they need to survive. Sorry to see you go. I miss you too. The next days almost flew by. Between helping Dr. McNeil with my father and teaching school, I didn't have time to think about leaving the mission. But it was on my mind just the same. Five more times. You're a tough man, McNeil. No tougher than you. You didn't sleep either. We each have our worries, I reckon. Have you seen Miss Alice? She's left every morning before dawn to go hunting. I'd been avoiding Miss Alice. I couldn't talk to her about leaving. I knew my father needed me, but I still felt that I was letting Miss Alice down. You could catch her tomorrow, if you wanted. What kept you awake, Rilla? I had this dream. A nightmare? No. It's the best dream I ever had. I was out walking in the woods, and I seen this quail. And it was like she wanted me to follow her. So I did to this place I'd never been. And when I got there, all my worries was gone. Why, what did you find? I don't know. <sighs> That's what I can't remember. I stayed up all night. I think. It had something to do with our reading lessons. I think I could find the place where I first seen the quail. All morning, something's been telling me to go there. Would you care to take one last walk with me? I wouldn't miss it. This might be it. Oh, I don't know. We've come so far. Maybe I just want it to be.